Well, it's going to be particularly difficult for the members that have got a high concentration with their customers on uh, construction and, and particularly house building. Those that have got a more diverse customer profile uh, will obviously fare better. Um, you know, I'm thinking of members that are working on uh, providing equipment for wind farms and, and things that will basically beat the recession and have to go on no matter what. Um, there's no question that it's going to be an extremely difficult 18 months uh, for our members and uh, you know, they've got to address the issues. The main effect at the moment is there's many, uh, as we all know, housing sites, that are, uh, house building sites are, um, are mothballed. And there's one just around the corner from me that were building 800 houses and all they're doing now is manicuring the lawns around the outside. And um, tower cranes are, are finishing their jobs on site. And, it, and in the past, uh, it used to be, a, you know, where's it going next? We'd be sorting it out to its next, next site. At the moment, they're now coming back to uh, their depots and, you know, they're now looking at storage issues rather than getting the things out on hire. So that, you know, it, there's no question that it's affected them. Utilisation, the feedback we're getting is across the board, it, it's dropped. Uh, it's not too bad at the moment, but it's nowhere near as good as it was. Um, pub the public companies in the, in the rental business are uh, really feeling it on their share price. I mean, some of them have been totally hammered. Uh, on the stock market, um, but I'm sure they will recover in time. And uh, on the positive side, the government uh, are promising us that they are going to re release these in infrastructure projects, uh, you know, hospitals, schools, and eventually nuclear power stations. The problem is, even this still takes time, and I don't think there's going to be a great impact over the next 12 months. Well, I think opportunities by the, you know, by, in a recession are going to be limited. But um, we've, in the south of England in particular, we've got the Olympics, uh, where they're now starting to build their structures. We've got uh, Crossrail will be starting up. There's still, as I mentioned earlier, the wind energy and projects of that nature. But in, a, in a, an odd way, the, the real opportunities, I'm afraid, are going to come possibly for the bigger companies to... Uh, There'll be further rationalisation, in my opinion, in the industry where uh, the smaller companies do start to struggle. Um, and if the larger major rental companies can get funding, they may look to pick up some of their competitors. Um, other than that, there's opportunities in the Middle East and the Far East, but uh, again, that's a big step for UK companies. They're not, they're not famous for uh, working abroad with plant rental. It's a, a competitive market. Well, I think I know that many of our members are cancelling or, putting it a better way, deferring their capital expenditure. In the past, there was, uh, for the heavy plant, there could be a two to three year wait for particularly mobile cranes. But now the boot's a bit on the other foot and most of the equipment can be bought off the shelf. And salesmen are now starting to come round from the manufacturers, whereas in the past uh, they didn't really need to because of the, the serious backlog. Um, the, the, the problem that the guys have got is that there's, they've got to take some tough decisions and uh, in, you know, from my own experience in the last recession in early early 90s, you know, there, there, there does have to be some serious reductions in staff uh, where necessary, um, possibly depot closures. And these are difficult decisions. They're difficult for the big major companies, but they're even more difficult for the family companies. I mean, we've got quite a few of our members that are family concerns and when you would got to cut back it's actually you're actually cutting back family members or close friends and it is extremely difficult but the problem is if they don't make these these cuts when they need to then it's going to put their companies under pressure um, the other area uh, the steps they've got to take and be very important is credit control um, at the end of the day I'm continually reminding people when I'm talking to them that it is not profit or lack of profit that sends companies broke, it's lack of cash and that you could have a company that maybe lost half a million pounds at the year but as long as they can still pay their bills they can survive it but if they don't get their cash in 
they've got serious problems and if they don't get the bank support they will be closed down. So credit control is extremely vital uh, and uh, we do give advice at the association to our members. We've got facilities uh, through companies that give uh, credit control advice that we can put our members onto. And that um, we can't stress enough how, you know, if a, a, a big customer goes broke, there's a chance that it will take the plant rental company with it. So uh, credit control is extremely important.